Historically a center of the cloth industry, Salisbury, the county town of Wiltshire, lies at the point where the rivers Natter and Bourne flow into the River Avon. The city is most famous for its beautiful cathedral, a masterpiece of the early Gothic style that dates to 1220, when the building's foundation stone was laid. Number 1 Salisbury Cathedral Completed in 1258, Salisbury Cathedral remains one of the most visited religious sites in England. Built in a typically English style, the cathedral's lovely interior of bright-colored limestone and darkly gleaming Purbeck marble is a delight to behold. Notable features include the gallery-like Triforium, where you can still hear the chime from the cathedral's faceless 14th-century clock, the world's oldest and the oldest such device in the UK. Number 2 Historic Cathedral Close Separated from the rest of the city by three gateways, including the main entrance to the close, High Street Gate Salisbury's wonderful cathedral close is well worth taking the time to explore. The curious will discover a number of well-preserved Elizabethan and Georgian houses with their lovely green lawns. Number 3 Mompesson House Perhaps the most important building to be located in Cathedral Close, the 18th-century Mompesson House is well worth taking time to explore. One of the county's most visited National Trust properties, it's certainly a grand affair, and has starred in numerous movies and period costume dramas such as Sense and Sensibility. Number 4 Old City Center Undoubtedly one of the most popular things to do in Salisbury is wandering the many quaint streets of the Old City Center. In addition to its great shopping, the area is chock-full of delightful architecture dating from medieval times to the 19th century. Other nearby points of interest include the Red Lion Hotel, with its fine 1820s facade and pretty inner courtyard, along with Joiner's Hall, an attractive half-timbered building dating from the 16th century. Number 5 Ted Heath's Arundels The former home of British Prime Minister Edward, Ted, Heath until his death in 2005, Arundels is one of the best-known historic buildings, located in Cathedral Close. Open to the public in 2008, it's a delightful building to visit and explore. Number 6 Roman Ruins of Old Sarum Old Sarum, the precursor of present-day Salisbury, was built two miles to the north of the city centre on a hill that has been fortified since the Iron Age. The Romans built a fort of their own here, the camp of Sorviodunum, while under the Saxons a town settlement grew up on the site. Number 7 The Salisbury Museum The award-winning Salisbury Museum has a wide variety of permanent displays and special exhibitions throughout the year that highlight the art and history of England and Wiltshire in particular, it certainly helps that the area boasts such a rich ancient and medieval history. Number 8 Stonehenge and Salisbury Plain An easy side trip from Salisbury it's just 10 miles away, Stonehenge is one of England's most recognizable historic sites. This fascinating prehistoric structure stands out dramatically in contrast to the relatively flat topography of the expansive Salisbury Plains, and while much has been learned in recent decades, there's still plenty of mystery and mystique to keep kids enthralled for hours. Number 9 Wilton House Built by architect Inigo Jones in 1653 after the original Tudor home was destroyed by fire, Wilton House is a masterpiece of the Baroque style and most notable for its huge white double cube room. Decorated with gold-painted flowers and garlands of fruit and rounded off with a brilliantly colorful painted ceiling, the room is also fascinating for its portraits by Van Dyck as well as portraits of Charles I, Queen Henrietta Maria, and their three children. Number 10 Larmer Tree Gardens Larmer Tree Gardens, named after a landmark tree known to have provided shelter to King John in the 12th century, is set in the ancient forest known as Cranbourne Chase. Established by General Pitt Rivers in 1880 as a pleasure grounds for public enlightenment and entertainment, this stunning 11-acre attraction was the first privately owned gardens to be opened for public enjoyment. Hope you like this video for more videos please subscribe to our channel.